Have we failed them, John? I'm worried about our children. Are we terrible parents? Do you not know my middle name? Of course I do. I blessed you with it. Okay, so um, then what name should I put down then? Alexis something Rose. We have no interest in what's going on with you. What you did was impulsive, capricious, and melodramatic. But it was also wrong. David, are you a dirty peeping Tom? I don't think parenting books would approve of you saying that to me. Oh, next step is to fold in the cheese. What does that mean? What does fold in the cheese mean? He folds it in. Hey, track that cycle, Missy. No, Hannah. I'm embarrassed for you. Well, I'm... Okay, calm down. Breathe, 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 breathe. Okay. David, David must have taken it, along with my last molecule of hope. I was worried sick, dear. Where's David? Or his bags? I think part of the problem, David, is that I'm getting nothing from you. It's like working off a corpse. <sighs> Hello. Didn't you once take the wrong baby home from preschool? Alexis looked Chinese as an infant. How many times must I defend myself? We all have to go, David, unless you have some special excuse. It's my birthday. Do I have to remind you of the time that I was taken hostage on David Geffen's yacht by Somali pirates for a week and nobody answered my texts? I had just had my eyelashes dyed. Everything was cloudy. I'm afraid you and I have arrived at an awkward moment in our parent-child relationship. I'd argue that moment happens daily. There once was a radiant young actress who dreamed of having two sons. Emma. Your middle name is Emma. Is it? So we'll keep working away at this. David, I cannot show you everything. OK, well, can you show me one thing? I need to ask you a serious question. Has it gotten worse, or are you just not wearing any makeup? I've been calling David, and he's not picking up. And what about Alexis? There's an idea. Anybody have her number? <laughs> <laughs> Happy day, Alex and Davis. We've done the best we can. Alexis, don't be ridiculous. It's exactly the kind of paranoia that makes me wary of spending time with you. You had to prepare questions? I wouldn't categorize them as questions, exactly. What's your favorite color? I have never heard someone say so many wrong things one after the other, consecutively, in a row. It seems there are some nude photographs of me on the internet, oh. and I would like you to search for them. That's a real quick no. <sighs> David, stop acting like a disgruntled pelican. David, why does this game feel vaguely familiar? You invented it. You played it a lot growing up. I can't remember playing. That's because we got very good at it. I don't know how to be any clearer. You take that thing that's in your hand, uh -huh. and you... If you say fold in one more time... It says fold it in! You're the ill one, but I'm... I'm feeling this... Turtle instinct, maybe? No, that's not it. So you might want to pay a little more attention to your daughter's life, if only to alleviate the weight of me having to deal with it every day. Well, maybe I'll talk to her. Now she has to move into one of those homes for unwed mothers. Oh, my God, imagine. Kids, say hi to your mother. Hey. Hi. She, she's not my mother. Who are those voices? Uh, your children? I think it's Elspeth. It isn't. I should know. I just announced I'm getting married. David, you and your wonderful Patrick have years to celebrate. What a unanimously 